Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is Sunday morning and Coffee with Pastor. I've got my cup of coffee right here. And we are in Jeremiah chapter 37 this morning as we open up the Word of God. So good morning to you. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful morning and that the day just gets better from here. By the way, let me just mention the fact that if you are able, if you are physically able, you belong in a local church today. You need to be in your local church. You need to be supporting its ministry. You need to be supporting your pastor. And so thank you. Good morning. And we're going to turn our attention almost right away to our list of pastors that will be proclaiming the word of God this morning. And we want to ask God's blessing upon these men. We want to ask God's blessing upon their churches upon the people that are in their churches. So let's go ahead and let's walk through here. Um, of course, putting myself right there, um, Doug Stockwell. Then we go on from there to Tony Barber. We um, continue on with Dave, Pastor Dave Boylet, Pastor Rich Collins, Pastor Jerry Drummond, Pastor Ken Ford, Pastor David Grinnell, Pastor Jeff Wilt, Pastor Dave Hansen, Pastor Ray Harriman, Pastor Fred Kruger, Pastor Jim McInnes, Pastor Glenn McMorris, Pastor Steve Milam, Pastor Jack Richard, Pastor Andrew Smith, Pastor Zach Stamp, Pastor Doug Strader, Pastor Brian Teed, and also Pastor Chris Wass. And again, I hope that this is not a matter of we just pray for these men uh, once a week, Sunday morning, right? But literally, um, we pray for these men on a regular basis, and especially those that um, you are worshiping under. You need to make sure that you are praying uh, for your pastor. Let's go ahead and let's bow our heads for prayer, and then we'll turn our attention to Jeremiah chapter 37. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we again thank you. We praise you for all that you have done. We thank you for the opportunity that we have to open up your word. We ask that you would guide us and direct us today. Father, as we stand in your presence, we want to remember these men that we have just prayed for. We lift them into your presence. We ask that you would guide and direct each one. That you would give them the very words that you would have them speak today. We pray that your blessing would be upon the time that they have spent studying and preparing themselves for today. And Father, have your way in your church in the church of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that today you would work in and through your people, achieving your purposes. Father, we pray for your church. We ask that we would love you as we have never loved you before, that we would serve you as we have never served you before. And Father, that our motives would be for your honor and for your glory. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for the privilege that we have to, again, open your word, to read it together. Father, literally all through this day, bless your word. Again, as we think back of the ministers that we have mentioned, Lord, we'll lift them into your presence. And Father, bless them. Strengthen them. Father, use them. And Father, as we pray for the lives of those within our congregations, Father, please don't overlook us. Continue to work in our hearts and lives. Continue to draw us closer to yourself. And Father, we'll give you the praise and the glory that, again, only you are worthy of. And Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Jeremiah, 
Jeremiah chapter 37. And King Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, reigned instead of Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, whom Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, made king in the land of Judah. But neither he nor his servants, nor the people of the Lord, did hearken unto the words of the Lord, which he spake by the prophet Jeremiah. And Zedekiah the king sent Je Jehukal, the son of Shalemiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Messiah, the priest, to the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Pray now unto the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah came in and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison. Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt. And when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say to the king of Judah, that sent you unto me to inquire of me. Behold, Pharaoh's army, which has come forth to help you, shall return to Egypt into their own land. And the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against this city, and take it and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For though ye had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans that fight against you, and there remain but wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent and burn this city with fire. And it came to pass that when the army of the Chaldeans was broken up from Jerusalem, for fear of Pharaoh's army. Then Jeremiah went forth out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin, to separate himself thence from the midst of the people. And when he was in the gate of Benjamin, a captain of the ward was there whose name was Urijah, the son of Shulamiah, the son of Hananiah. And he took Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Thou fallest away to the Chaldeans. Then said Jeremiah, It is false. I fall not away to the Chaldeans. But he hearkened not to him. So Urijah took Jeremiah and brought him to the princes. Wherefore the princes were wroth with Jeremiah and smote him and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe. For they had made that the prison. When Jeremiah was entered into the dungeon and into the cabins, and Jeremiah had remained there many days. Then Zedekiah the king sent, and took him out. And the king asked him secretly in his house, and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is. For, said he, Thou shalt be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto king Zedekiah, what have I offended against thee, or against the servants, or against this people, that ye have put me in prison? Where are now your prophets, which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall not come against you, nor against this land? Therefore, hear now, I pray thee, O my lord, the king, let my supplication, I pray thee, be accepted before thee that thou cause me not to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison, and that they should give him daily a piece of bread out of the baker's street, until all the bread in the city were spent. Thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Beloved, have a super day. Enjoy it and enjoy it with God's people in God's house. Enjoy it. Supporting the ministry of your pastor, listening to the word that God has given to him. As you go in, you may ask him, is there any word from the Lord? No doubt he will say, yes, there is just like Jeremiah did to Zedekiah.
Beloved, have a great day. Be faithful today in all that you say, all that you do. Enjoy the day to its fullest. But in all things, be, be faithful. Never give yourself the, an excuse. Or never allow yourself, excuse me, never allow yourself to be an excuse by which others turn away from the gospel of Jesus Christ. Beloved, we've got a job to do. And just outside these doors, there's a world that needs to hear about Jesus Christ. Beloved, have a wonderful day. Remember, God loves you and we do too. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.